you that they may not. And as a super fan, I think we know a lot about you already. Some of us have seen videos on YouTube of you back in the day mm -hmm. performing at an NYU talent contest. And you were singing a song that sounded very ungaga like It sounded kind of like oh, yeah. Norma Jones. Oh, yeah. The music that I was making when I was around 17 years old, 18, which is around probably the videos you're talking about, yeah. it was so jazz. And sometimes if you worked, uh, you have to alternate doing coat check, and then I have to stay really long. Oh, I did coat check. So you left and you went to Lower East Side. I got these jobs. I paid my own rent. I lived on Stanton and Rivington Street in a very, very small apartment. And uh, I started to write music, and I started to get into drugs, which was, you know, not so great. But uh, I started to party and hang out in the dance club scene. I started going to gay clubs. And my music style just changed. I just really wanted to make dance music. So I said, well, what can I do to set me apart from the pack? Uh, and I decided, uh, well, you love pop music so much, and you're so good at writing it. So why don't you uh, go for it? Really go for it. Now, you don't have many celebrity friends, but you are friends with Beyonce. Yes, I love Beyonce. What makes her, like, cool enough to hang with? She's not fake at all. Nothing about her is fake. It's really nice when, you know, you put an album out and you sell a bunch of records and someone that's in the business with you sends you a text message and just says, I'm so proud of you, you know, or I'm really happy for you. It's nice to have, you know, one girl out there that's, that's written for me. And the music video for Telephone is perhaps one of your more iconic videos. <laughs> Beyonce's talked about that video recently, saying things like, my mom asked me why I mentioned Wagon or something like that. That video kind of took Beyonce out of her comfort zone. Oh, yeah. You've been a very bad girl. A very, very bad, bad girl, Gaga. I mean, I called her and I was like, listen, I have this really crazy idea. Because that, that video was all your idea. Yeah. It wasn't a director. It was like, oh, I want to do this, that, and the other. It's always that way, though. I mean, even though I've, I've hired directors to work with, it's always been my vision that they have directed always. Shall we have a slumber party now? Yeah, let's get in bed. Okay. In bed with Perez. <laughs> with another hour and a half of simmer time still required, and me not being very patient, I decided to get saucy in bed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little um, inadequate. You've changed outfits three times already. Well, it's time for bed. I know. I got you in bed already. Are you an easy lay? Yes. <laughs> Very cheap date as well. <clears throat> do you put out on the first date? No. No? No. I do. Well, I haven't in a while. Listen, all of the United Kingdom, Perez puts out on the first date. Well, I haven't done anything in ten and a half months. Oh, uh, are you telling everyone that? <laughs> yeah, I think it's okay to put it out there in the universe. It's it's good to be celibate if you haven't found the right person. All right. This... I have done it in the past ten and a half months. You have? When was the last time? About a few weeks ago. Okay, that's, that's nothing. <laughs> As the wine and conversation flow, it's like... I think people need to hear this version with you in the future. Like for a TV show or something. Fabulous. Gaga leaves for tonight's show at Sydney's historic town hall venue, where they've cleared out the government for this evening to make room for the Queen of Pop. I couldn't help but get caught up in some Gaga fever myself. Work. And walk. <laughs> Gaga lied two and a half hours until she rocks the stage here. I'm going to 
you guys been waiting for? Two days. Like, yeah. Two days. <laughs> There's a lot of super fans here and outside and all over Sydney. Kim's out at her hotel. <laughs> but I've traveled all over the world with her and I've never really seen this much excitement for her. She's so amazing. She's so inspirational. She's so beautiful. She never, she like, I never want to give up on anything because of her. She's just everything. I couldn't like live without the music, without anything of her. I'm obsessed. Lady Gaga is my everything. Ow! Gaga kicked out a few of the cameras, saying, everyone else go away, only Perez inside my dress rehearsal. When it's in the music, it's like a performance, and then when it's not, it's just like the entourage. I'm going to go this way. Should I go to your back? Yeah. concert time in a few hours this place will be packed with fans to keep this yeah that's a full show i know i kind of two three they four, asked five, me to do like four seven, songs eight, what we're nine, doing ten. ten i love it how are you babes so are you? i'm good ready excited does that look great it's awesome and i love how the bridge kind of mirrors the organ yeah pipes. yeah marla's really good Thank you for letting me use your organ. <laughs> but people had to win tickets to this by Being sending in photos, mm -hmm. which is even cooler. This is like a super fan ball. <laughs> we've got we've little got monster tattoos. tattoos. We love her to bits. We met her, and she's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Everybody had to be a super little monster to get it. But I feel kind of bad because I, I wish that. It could be bigger. Well, you'll come back soon and play arena. I'll do the Born This Way Ball. Is that okay. what it's going to be called, the Born This Way Ball? I don't know. I think I'm going to, um, you know me, I like change things all the time. But that's sort of where it's starting. But I'm thinking of calling it um, Born, this Way, uh, Born This Way Ball. The Born This Way Ball and the Electric Chapel. The Born This Way Ball and the Electric Chapel. Yeah, or in the Electric you should, Chapel. Are you ordained to marry people? Um, I'm actually getting ready now to be ordained to marry my uh, one of my best friends, Trisha, who's also my yoga instructor. <laughs> in the show where you would call somebody every time maybe on the next tour you can marry somebody every time that would be fabulous oh you can be a gay wedding at every show and then there could be money donated at the gay wedding yes i like that idea <laughs> we can pay for the reception yes that would be amazing every show maybe we'll have a like maybe we'll have gotier make me a the priest outfit. Ooh. It's like me official. Or that. <laughs> or controversial. <laughs> Did you have a nickname? Um, well, my dad called me Loopy. Loopy? Yeah. Why? Because uh, I was a little loopy. <laughs> 
and um, my friends in high school called me Germ because my last name is Germanata. Um, and then Gaga was my my third nickname. Or now I can be M M too. M M. Oh yeah, Mother Monster. Yeah, well the fans call me Mother. A lot of them do. <laughs> Well, Jer, I wanted to do, I wanted to start introducing the um, visuals for the You and I video. So I wanted to wear a mermaid tail, but I can't walk in it, obviously. So I decided to put her in a wheelchair and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna wear a veil, obviously. She's dreaming of wedding a human, but sadly is unable. Okay, drop please. vision of um, like a mermaid under the Brooklyn Bridge, so that was kind of what inspired the bridge. Were you obsessed with mermaids when you were young? Yeah. singles at the same time in different countries and I just said I would you know I wouldn't be against doing two at the same time but to do them in different countries it feels like it separates the fans whereas I feel you know monsters really talk to each other online so if they have two separate singles they're not experiencing the same moment together and I I don't want them to experience the moment separately I want them to experience it together so the Australian monsters that are here are going to experience the monster hall with the fans around the world and so I, I, that makes me really happy they make friends you know <laughs> Custom Versace. Ooh. So Donatella designed it uh, and her team made it. I just warmed up my voice and um, How long does that take? It takes 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 whole minutes. I do it every day. And um, I did my nails. Wow, those are amazing. Thank you. And um, I we pray before we go on stage, and that's really it. It's like an arena or a club, or it's gonna feel like all those things. Because at certain points it's nice for it to feel intimate, and at other points it's nice for it to feel really wide and big. So, the art of performance I'm trying to master, hopefully someday. Can y'all get over here? Yes. Can y'all over here? Yes. No. 
exciting. You can go see one of your shows. It's never the same two nights in a row. Never the same. Don't, isn't that so cute? I love so headset. Uh, headset. So, oh, don't film that mirror. That mirror is around <laughs> <laughs> Do you get nervous during shows or before shows? Yes, these days? So? yes, always. Just a little bit. And then once, you get I, nervous? once I hear it doesn't matter, once I hear that it doesn't matter if you love him, I get into it. It doesn't matter if you love him or capital H I N. done yet. She's got a whole bunch of little monsters who need mothering. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at the cave. Oh, sorry. I just smacked your cameraman's ass. That's really very cute. We have the same hairstyle. Okay. I don't want to eat the dress. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> I don't want to hurt it. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, Enjoy. you're so sweet. Look at you. Oh, so handsome. I lost my voice. Did you have fun? I did. I had the best time ever. Oh, he sounds like it. I love seeing all the different kinds of fans. Aren't they great? This is my favorite thing to see when they buy not only the regular record, but they buy the remixes and all three albums. That's a real super fan. Is there anything that you find that ties all Gaga fans together? Yeah, um, I feel like through all of them, it's just this sense of feeling more secure about themselves through pop culture and um, through the music they feel together. It says this is a manifesto of us to the Gaga ages. Oh, so it's about how you guys became friends through music. Yeah, how, yeah, exactly. Imagine you have camera. You've kept that for a while. That's so sweet. There's not like pockets of them that are better friends because of the way that they dress or what they're interested in. They just are all bonded through the music and through the spirit of the music being about you know, freedom and individuality and respecting what other people believe, respecting how other people are. It's just it's really nice. Thank you so much. Oh, the best best. show was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ooh, your dad gave me a kiss. <laughs> that was so great about looking in the audience tonight is I felt like, you know, they all had come together, but you saw some kids that were so dressed up and some kids that maybe wanted to but didn't feel ready to yet. And the show meant something to them. 